Hey, welcome back to uh, CDs part two. I've uh, got a bunch of all CDs here. I have all their discography. So one of my favorite punk bands of all time. I uh, got some, some totally mixed up here. I uh, got another Adventures of Jet album here. That's from 1999. Uh, this band's pretty good. So I got two uh, Adams Farm albums. I think I'm missing one of them now. But de decent band. Uh, Acid Bath. This is uh, Pagan Terrorism Tactics. And then this is the Demos album. Uh, another two albums of Alcohol Funny Car. The first one I showed you was the better one. This is... This is the first uh, EP and that album, and then this one. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Alien Ant Farm. So we got the first album, Greatest Hits. Uh, I think I have the the, the uh, one their debut album. This is their first album, but then there's the other album with Smooth Criminal on it. And then we got True Rant, uh, the Up in the Attic. This is the uh, Best Buy exclusive with the three bonus tracks. And then uh, Always and Forever. And then we have uh, Alkaline Trio. This is just a mix of their stuff. This is also has Matt's solo stuff and Dan's solo stuff as well. Yes, I like I like all all their music. Uh, we got a bunch of uh, Sebado here, and also Lou Barlow solo stuff. So again, good stuff there. Uh, I think this is all of their albums here, but I got quite a few of them. Uh, Seven seconds, good stuff, good. Hardcore punk from the 80s. Uh, classic stuff here. And don't don't judge me, but I do have Creed My Own Prison. This is their best album anyway. Uh, Black Lab. Uh, Coal Chamber. This is their last album. I have all their albums in my collection. Uh, some band called Combine. Uh, decent, decent stuff from the mid, mid nineties. Yeah, ninety five, ninety six. Uh, we got Bush classic album, Sixteen Stone. Got some broken social scene. Hold on. Uh, I think this is most of their albums, if not all of them. Uh, we got some Bouncing Souls here. Love them, obviously. <laughs> all right. Uh, we have a band called Bob Goblin. It's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I think I have another one of their albums in here somewhere. Uh, we got the expanded editions of Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream, and Pisces Iscariot. Right. Got some Black Sabbath here. I think this is most of their albums. Remastered, yada yada yada. got the first three sponge albums on cd yes the rotting pinata does have the live album uh as a bonus disc inside i'm a big nerd what can i say uh this is not my favorite album by them but this is big drill car and this is uh no worse for the wear this is the one from the mid 90s with the 
uh, half the band was still there and the other half was, um, uh, I think they were there, but I don't know if they were like studio musicians or just, I mean, it's all, this band, this album is okay. I do enjoy them quite a bit, but this album is just okay in my opinion. Uh, we got, uh, Billy Squire. This is the expanded version of his first or second album, Don't Say No, with, uh, two bonus live tracks. Then we have uh, two of his albums in this double disc collection, uh, Motions in Motion and Signs of Life. And then we have a live show here from the King Biscuit Flower Hour. Yes, I really enjoy Billy Squire's music. More than just, you know, the stuff they play on the radio, like uh, In the Dark, The Stroke, My Kind of Lover, Lonely is the Night. My my favorite no, favorite song from this album is uh, "What Do You Want from Me." Great song. And there's a there's a uh, there's a great live version on this album too of that song. Oh, I forgot to show this one. This is uh, it's supposed to be like that, but this is the this is the one with uh, his first album, and then "Don't Say No." Uh, I got some more, got some more Cibado here, Cibado, I don't know how to say that, good stuff anyway, where did I put the rest of those Cibado albums, Cibado, whatever, however you say it, right there, put those, those. I want to keep everything together, at least try to, uh, expanded edition of ZZ Top's Eliminator, Expanded version of Counting Crows, August, and Everything After. Their best album, in my opinion, as well. Although I do enjoy the album that followed this one, too. Uh, we got some Cowboy Mouth here. I really enjoy uh, Fred LeBlanc's solo albums as well. Uh, we got Cows, two albums of, of Cows, which is basically uh, crap. What is his name? Uh, has the bass player that was in the Melvins for a while, Kevin Rutmanis, and then, uh, well, that's that's one of the reasons why I picked it up. But I do enjoy uh, this one, Warren. I, I do enjoy this one more than uh, Sorry and Pig Minor, but they're both good albums. All right, we got. Beck, Mellow Gold, Got some Armor for Sleep, this is my favorite album of theirs, some emo, uh, I got more, some more CKY here, but I'll show you that in a second, uh, one of my under first uh, bands I ever listened to when I was a kid, uh, 707, this is a, uh, I guess early 80s, uh, late 70s, early 80s arena rock band, um, I think the keyboard the singer keyboardist uh, died in like 2006 or something, but really good stuff. If you guys enjoy arena rock, um, get all their at least all this band's albums together. Just the ones that I have anyway. This is the Cult, and I even have some of the early stuff: Death Cult and the Southern Death Cult. Oh yeah, this is uh people are gonna love this if you guys like the cure. So I have most of the expanded editions of the albums and I have a greatest hits. And then this is like a uh compilation I found. A B sides collection, but I don't think I really need it anymore considering most of these songs are on the expanded editions. But this is a real pressed disc. Uh, I don't know where it's, well, it's kind of weird though, there's no barcode on here, but it is a real pressed disc, but I don't know if it's worth anything or what, I have no idea, but I love The Cure, 
as you can as you probably guys know. Um I'm gonna hold off on them. Uh we got uh Citizen Kings, uh one of their EPs, Count the Days. I got a Clash um, demos outtake. This is a burn disc, so it's not a real disc, but as a barcode. Uh, demos outtakes and alternates. This has 22 tracks. I mean, it looks like a real CD because it does have a barcode up there, but even the disc looks pretty authentic. But it is a burned copy. Bought that a while ago, like a, at the beach a while back. I don't know if that place is still there or not. Uh, another band that I really enjoy, The Damned. I got the 30th anniversary edition of the first album. Machine Gun Etiquette's really good. Strawberries and Phantasmagoria is pretty good too. I got a lot of stuff, guys. Uh, another band I enjoy. Okay, I, I have another one of their albums somewhere. Uh, Sister Psychic, another good '90s alternative uh, band from uh, well, kind of grungy a little bit from the uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, this band I'm not familiar with. The only one song I really like on here anyway, but it's been a while since I've listened to it. Single File. Uh, you guys probably guys know why I got it. This this song right here is obviously in my neighbors. Yes, it's it's paying homage to the video game. Uh, another band that I really enjoy, uh, Shades Apart. Everybody probably knows the song Valentine from this album, um, and then this one here it's got Conspiracy, uh, Three Wishes. And then this, this one said Valentine. It also has uh, Edge of the Century, Stranger by the Day. I think they had a song on one of the American Pie soundtracks, if I'm not mistaken. This is the one before it. And then the one before that. This one has um, their cover of Tainted Love on here from Soft Cell. And then this is like their early, early stuff. So... Love Shades Apart. They're no longer together, obviously, but still got the memory. Uh, excellent for my. I don't know where I put those. Um, I have a lot of CKY here. I got the albums here, and then the other album I showed you earlier. This is a B Sides Rarities album. And. This is uh, early stuff. And then uh, Foreign Objects was Darren Miller's band before CKY. And then Rudy and Blitz is uh, Chad's band. And then I think some of the songs on here are actually on uh, Disengage the Simulator EP. And then like other songs I... I probably, I think I had on like burn discs back in the day, but they actually put this out. No, Chad put this out. Chad produced this one. I don't think this was when Darren was still with the band. But, uh, it's got some good stuff on here. It's got like Shippensburg, Santa's Coming, Fat F, <laughs> uh, Rio Bravo, the remix version, Halfway House, and good stuff here. Love CKY. Uh, classic album, you know, Clutch of Souls' first album. And this is a compilation disc here of random, uh, 22 random artists on here. It's called uh, Buy This Used CD. It's, I mean, I, I got it for 99 cents, so I did. Uh, we got uh, Sibido, uh, Brainiac, Babe the Blue Ox, uh, Mousetrap, Cement, some, just some like independent artists from the uh, 
from like 93, 1993. The 5678s are on here. Um, good stuff. A uh, couple more compilations. This is uh, Home Team Beats Rivals by 10. Don't, oh, yeah, this is just different artists. There's uh, Kevin Seconds from 7 Seconds, Jonah Montrenga from uh, who's that? Far, the band Far. If you guys knew who that is. And then, like, a couple other people in here, too. But they all do different songs. They all, it says who does what in each song, so. Another compilation called Shave the Baby. I don't know. But it's got um, bands that I would recognize, or like Thomas Jefferson's Slave Apartments. Um, uh, New Bomb Turks, Gaunt, and Greenhorn. Good stuff there. Another compilation called Self, Self Mutilation 1, 2, 3, and more. Comp a compilation of compilations. Uh, bands on here include God in Texas, Super Chunk, uh, Seaweed, and the Meanies. So. Again, more independent artists from the 90s. Uh, another good band here that my, my brother really loves. I love them too. Chalk Farm and then their second album. Uh, Rest in Peace. Um, Texas, the bass player. That, that dude right there. And yeah, he's in, he's in both albums. And we got The Cars. Uh, this is an early release of Shake It Up. I think I have the expanded version, but I'm not 100% on that. Some people hate the cars. Uh, of course, we get the band that did the theme song to Kids in the Hall, Shadowy Men on a Shadowy Planet. Uh, that song is on here. It is... Uh, what track is it? Track 15, Having an Average Weekend. That's the name of the song. That's the th theme song. And then the album after that called Sport Fishing, Lure, The Lure of the Bait, The Luck of the Hook. I got these at McKay's a while back, like years ago. Uh, I do enjoy both albums quite a bit. And we got uh, some of my favorite Silverchair albums, Frog Stomp, uh, Freak Show, and Neon Ballroom. I do have Diorama and um, let's see other, their album that they released in like the early 2000s. I forget the name of it, top of my head. I do have all of those. Uh, a band that I really enjoy. So let me go back to Shadow of Men because I have another one of their albums. This is the entitled Dim the Lights, Chill the Ham. I have a picture of the ham with the pineapple underneath of it. Uh, I like this album a little bit. I think I listened to the other album. I didn't like it as much. The band is uh, Spot 1019. Another 90s band. Um, classic Sex Pistols. Uh, this band is really has a weird name, but I enjoyed it. Got the Sex Police. Yes, that is the name of the band, Sex Police. I don't know. I don't come up with this stuff, guys. Uh, we got a cool band here called uh, Sharks. Got two of their albums. And we got a couple of Chevelle albums. We got, of course, Wonder What's Next. And the tour that my brother and I saw them on, and that was uh, the Venezuela tour. I enjoyed that show quite a bit. And then we have... Uh, a band that I also really enjoyed, uh, She Wants Revenge. I got three of their albums right here. So that's it for this box. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wasn't very thorough with this one as opposed to the last one. So uh, again, I really love music and 
I don't I'm trying to condense everything down here so I got a small stack pulled from the last box so we will continue with the series once I get more boxes out of storage which I only have like two or three more then I have my vinyls to go through and yep it's gonna be a process so hopefully you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys in the next video bye